good day, and welcome to another episode of Level Up. I'm Yanni, filling in for regular host Marku, who is busy building an AI-powered cat feeding bowl. If you've seen previous episodes of Level Up, you'll already know that this show is all about showing you how practical and easy it is to build real solutions with Google Cloud. Our special guest today is Tehon. Hello, Yanni. Hey, TTH, how are you? Good, thank you. So what will you be talking about today? So nowadays, most developers have continuous delivery pipelines to help them build and deliver software to production. However, a lot of the tools that help them monitor and understand what's happening in production are not part of this pipeline. Right, so you mean things like monitoring dashboards. Exactly. So today, we'll see how we can use the Cloud Monitoring API to version control these dashboards so that we can see who made what changes to them and also allow us to automatically deploy them to multiple environments. Sounds great. Let's get started. Let's begin by examining our current environment. Here we have our production project. And in this production project, we have one VM instance that's running Apache server. Now we are in our staging project. And in this staging project, we also have a single VM instance that's running Apache server as well. So next, we are going to look at how we are currently monitoring these VM instances. So if you look at our monitoring workspace for the production project, we can see that we have a custom dashboard called VM stats here. Now, this VM stats dashboard in production has four charts, which displays various information about CPU, I.O., and network statistics. If we switch to our staging workspace, we can see that we do not have the VM stats dashboard from production here for various reasons. It could be too tedious to duplicate here, or we simply couldn't have time to replicate it in staging. Now, that's not an issue, because now that you have seen our environment, we are going to programmatically deploy an identical copy of our dashboard in production to this staging workspace. To help us save time, let's save the names of our production and staging projects, as well as the name of our dashboard into environment variables. Now that we have done that, let's get the JSON representation of the dashboard with our Cloud Monitoring API and save it to a file. There are two ways you can do this, either by issuing a curl command to the API directly or by using the gcloud command line integration. In this video, we'll be using the gcloud command line integration. Now that we have done that, let's take a look at our dashboard definition. So as you can see, this is the JSON definition of our production dashboard. We have the display name, VM stats. We have the e-tag, which is used to identify a specific version of our dashboard. And all the way at the end, we also have the unique dashboard ID. We then need to store our e-tag, which identifies which version of the dashboard we want to update in the future. Now that we have done that, let's remove the e-tag from the template and also parameterize the project ID from our file so that it becomes a generic JSON template. With that, we can now check our dashboard definition into version control. Now that our production dashboards are safely in version control, let's programmatically recreate them in our staging environment. First, let's change our current project in Cloud Shell to our staging project. Next, let us replace the project ID 
with our staging project ID. Finally, we can use the gcloud command line to recreate our production dashboard in staging. With that complete, we can go back to our staging workspace. And if we refresh the page, we can see that the VM stats dashboard from production has been programmatically recreated here. Now, because this is done programmatically, you can see how easy it is to script and repeat this across all of our different environments. We are in a good state now, so let's make some modifications to our dashboards that we want to try out. And because it's all stored in version control, we can now safely experiment with this in staging beforehand. So let's say that I want to add an additional metric to this chart. Apart from received bytes, I also want to see all of the bytes that were sent. So I've been tinkering with this new dashboard in staging, and I think I'm happy with the changes. And I'm done with experimenting right now. So let's get the new updated definition of our dashboards. So similar to what we did previously, we are now going to remove the e-tag and parameterize the project ID. You can see that this is indeed the new dashboard definition, as we have the new chart here, received bytes and sent bytes. So we have parameterized the project ID, and we have also removed the e-tag. And let's get this into version control. We have now successfully checked in our changes into version control so that we can easily see what were the changes that were made and who made those changes. We can even roll back to a previous version of the dashboard now if we needed to. With that, let's update our production dashboard with the changes that we have been experimenting with. We need to specify which dashboard we want to update. So let's insert the e tag we have previously stored into our definition. So as you can see here, the previous e-tag which we have saved has now been inserted in our dashboard definition. Now it's time for the final step, which is to use our gcloud command line integration to update the production dashboard. And that's done. So if we go back to our production workspace. And we click into VM stats. You can see that the changes that we have been experimenting with in staging to display the number of bytes sent have now been successfully replicated in production. Because all of our dashboard definitions are now version controlled, we can easily get an audit trail of changes that were made and also easily roll back to previous versions. You can now spin up multiple copies of a dashboard across multiple workspaces without having to manually copy them through the user interface as well. Thanks, DTH, for helping us build more robust dashboards. No problem, Yanni. If you like what you've seen today, subscribe to Level Up and take a look at the link below for more information about the Cloud Monitoring Dashboards API. Until the next episode of Level Up, see you. See you.